Recently, I got coached by a professional TFT player, and if you want to play Jin at a pro level, I'd definitely stick around because that's what we're playing this game. This coaching session was recorded towards the beginning of patch 12.1, and as always, let me know if you want to see more content like this. Yeah, but if you want to try AD, let's just do bow, ideally, and then if you don't get it, just take something right. So, uh, pick up the Yordles and just play the Yordles. Yeah, I would just sell this dude off and then pick up the uh, Darius. Yeah, sell Cat as well and then just buy the, the shop. Probably grab uh, Hyper and then play aggressive. Yeah, 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 for sure. So you have a really... shirt as well. I think like uh, this, I guess, commits me a little bit too hard, more than I'd like in the early game. And Thrill is, uh, I don't like Thrill when I'm when I don't have any two stars and not strong. Yeah, I would say Thrill is actually quite good, but uh, Hyper is probably just better. For Yordle or? Yeah, you just still play Yordle, because like you still don't have any upgrades, so you still can't play aggressive yet. Like not that aggressive anyway. Like you 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 play you can play Yordles pretty aggressively. In fact you should play Yordles pretty aggressively. Because you can win streak with Yordles a lot of the time. I don't know why they're as strong as they are, but they are, so So we just shiv most like ninety nine percent of the time. I I can't see what they would give you that would make us not shiv. Maybe her can pick up war with good clue. So I got some challengers. There's double Trist. I think you just level for Darius. And... And Trist over... Um, Lulu. Because you want to maintain damage with Ziggs, right? Yeah, I want to maintain what, sorry? Uh, damage with Ziggs, so that's why you don't play Lulu. Yeah, it's also because Lulu 1 sucks. Lulu 2 is really, really strong. Lulu 1 is really, really garbage. Yeah, you'd, you'd still uh, yeah. slam Shiv from here? Yeah, I would still slam Shiv and just chain... Uh, actually, don't chain because of scrap. You get scrap really often with uh, Blitzcrank. Mm -hmm. So you want to hold this Trist. Uh, I would just sell. Yeah, you did the Queen of the War. And then hold the Poppy as well. Problem with, um, I don't know. I don't know if it's a problem, but the thing with Hyper Roll is that you pretty much get to only play one in the one way, which can be pretty annoying. Like, if you just never hit up, which is why you, you really want to actually play Yordles with, like, like or you don't really want to, but playing Yordles with Hyper Roll is good because at some point you will get your upgrades. Well, the chance that you get your upgrades are a lot higher, right? So then, and then if you have your upgrades, you'll be able to streak because you always have one extra unit in over something else. So, like, I would just sell the Quinn and just double level because it's Hyper Roll. Okay, yeah, that's true. And then just put in, uh... Poppy is probably strongest. But, but, but yeah, it's you, Poppy, uh... but it's not by a large margin, sorry? Who would you so uh, with Shiv you can you, you still use it and uh, put on like Ark Orianna or something and uh, if you end up playing Jin, and you, I yeah. guess it's good on Urgot still, or after I the I think it's a lot worse on Urgot now, but I think Hurricane is still good on Urgot. I think if you're I think Shiv is a lot worse now. Mm -hmm. Um, after the changes, this looks like a loss too, but I think you kill like two units, because he doesn't have bodyguard, right? Never mind, you, you, it's definitely not a loss. Shiv is so broken. Oh, yeah, scrap. Oh, yes. Like, he has all upgraded units, which is why I thought you would lose, but you actually 5 0 him. He's probably really mad. He has like two upgraded units, upgraded frontline, but he doesn't have bodyguard. That sucks. Take this, and then. Uh... Yeah. You're just chilling. Uh, yeah, it's you're just chilling. Just the... Oh, scrap is better than um, Poppy. One poppy. And then I would just chain Ezreal for now. Probably Cause just because you can sell him, right? Uh, uh, doesn't really matter. Like, yeah, the, like you can get lock it. It's like the main thing. So oh, I yeah, just put it in like, a good game. But, yeah. Um, That matters a lot when you're playing like a different type of board than what you're playing. Like, for example, if you're playing uh, like a four scrap board, you need to keep track of the... Yeah, like the lock. Or items so that you get. get. Belt, then you'll get like six and... Zeke's Androc Claw, right? Yeah. But then the important part with playing like four. Wow, holy fuck. If you fuck? lose this. Yeah, the Shaco just dodged the whole thing. Yeah. Can you win if. No, because you saw Syndicate. Wow. <laughs> Three. Okay, wow. 
unlucky. I'm pretty sure the fight is not supposed to go like this like 90% of the time. But uh, what I was saying with Force Grab is you want to like backline your entire team because so and this is just kind of true for Poppy or just playing Lucky Ortles in general. Ziggs is much less likely to whiff if you backline your team and also Echo when you play him. You want him hit, like hitting your group of units as well as the enemy group of units, right? Yeah. Think of Sword or? Yeah, sure. Let's just take Sword or Bow. Yeah. I think Bow maybe? All right. Uh, we don't care about slamming because, or we care less about slamming because we're on, not on a streak anymore. Mm -hmm. If you like won your last round, I'd probably just take the sword slam G and figure it out later. But yeah, um, so then if you're playing force crap, this is actually really important because force crap is like one of the best mid game options you can have. Mm -hmm. Um, you want to like backline everything and then Echo will jump in and then ulti your team, and Ziggs will miss oh, a yeah, lot. Yeah, like that. That's true. Uh, thoughts on this? Yeah, this is stronger probably, and then you just bow the guy oh the first and then like we're still looking for blitzcrank blitzcrank is like pretty much what glues this team together and then you just get to win streak if you play blitzcrank uh normally you would level here but obviously i don't even think you can uh it didn't count three eight ten twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen yeah can, you have 15 so then if you won your last turn you'd have 17 and you'd be able to level for like an ezreal which is actually probably well it would be worth it because there's no reason not to Get scrapped on the chain. Time. Yeah. Didn't make fight diff, but probably could have done like two extra damage. So like <laughs> from here, um, like I, you you could still like play um pretty much anything, or are there like specific comps you're really um, looking to play? At this point, you're probably looking for Fiora, Yone, Jin because you took two bows, meaning you're probably gonna natural the bow. Mm -hmm. Oh, you just level for Echo here. You just on this, just sit like this. You just hard level. Yeah, I'd rather level. I think you might end up losing one gold over three turns, which is very little and very hard to figure out whether or not you're actually losing it. Uh, chain the echo. The reason why you would lose one gold is that I think maybe after Krogs you could have made thirty, which is the only time you would ever lose a gold, right? Because if you you're making twenty, then it doesn't matter. All right. But then if you're yeah, if you're doing that, then so yeah, maybe you lose one gold. And then, I don't know. You probably want to level on 3-1 regardless. So then you probably only save, uh, make the one gold. And that's only if Krugs gives you a certain amount of money as well. Anyways, it's not worth thinking too much. Normally, if you're playing high roll, you just jam levels. I think it was really unlucky, as I said earlier, that you lost this one round here. The first round is a little bit whatever, right? So mm -hmm. you're weak at the time as well. So yeah, you generally want to do this with Yordles, is that you just... You start winning because you have upgrades on your board. Just buy uh, shit to hold. Uh... Yeah, make sure. Um, ideally, you live three. Uh, you leave three open slots on your bench. So sell is buy. Yeah, sure. Uh, just because I, the uh, maximum number of units that can get dropped from one orb is three. Yeah, I occasionally just like holding on to buy if I'm running snipers because usually I'm running a Kalen and flex and enforcers. Uh, yes, but, that's true, but, um, if you look at your board, it's just hard to fit, right? Like, you would have to always go 7, because it's never better than Echo. Wait. Okay. Hurricane. Just instantly slam that, pretty much. And then it's Leona over Darius. And I think you level it on 3-2. Yeah, it's pretty standard, isn't it? You go 7, 3-2, and then from there, you eco, go 8 on, like, 4-5, five, 5-1. Five, five, yeah, if you full streak, you can do it before then, but... So you just jam in a level now, so that... Uh, yeah, to go under 20, and then can. slam her again. Even if you could, I don't think you really should, because there's not anything to level 4 anyway, but... And you you don't lose 4 gold, but the 4 gold pretty much can't make you econ for a really long time, so... It looks like, for the most part, you beat these people. You're really strong, so... Yeah, like from here, I would probably uh, always play Jin if I was playing by myself. I haven't played too much uh, challengers. I played a bit of Yon on the. Oh, don't play Yon. That Yon sucks. If you're playing challengers, you play Fiora. And then you Fiora, go, you just go. Um, do you go six challengers still, or do you go like uh, the three? No, you go like two. Now? You go two. Wait, you, you, you lose this? The Shaco smurfed on you. Do you play uh, uh, like Colossus and shit, or? 
Uh, no, no, most of the time you don't. It's hard to fit because, like, okay, Colossus is broken if you have Galio 2, but Galio 1 sucks and Galio 2 is hard to get. So, mm -hmm. if you get Galio 2, you find a way to play Galio 2, but if you don't, then just level for the Darius, probably. Uh, MF over Cog as well. The fun begins. Yeah, and then you just Yeah, okay. You're uh, the fact that you didn't have a Blitzcrank, like if you get Blitzcrank here over Echo, you're extremely strong. Because 4 Bodyguard is pretty obnoxious in early game. And yeah, now you just Econ 4-5 probably. I'm trying to think. Um, yeah, because you usually what I would do is just buy up a bunch of units. Once I can sell to 30, then I'll sell. Yeah, precisely. Um... Yeah, okay, so you can play Jin here, but you will like you should go for a glove off carousel. You already have a chain. Uh, generally you want one chain on your Sion if you end up playing the Sion variant, which is the strongest variant. Um and then you want to end up getting a belt at some point as well. For like one of the two belt items, which is Warmogs or Redemption. Or well, Redemption's slightly better than Warmogs, I think, if I remember correctly. And then uh, these are not that great. Uh stand is probably fine. Stand is good if you're here. playing Jin because you play uh Jace. Yeah, you put like eight synergies. Uh, the um, only thing Celestial is, is also uh, fine. I would probably go Celestial, just because I don't have a single healing component. I only have one item for my gen, unless you're shiving gen, which. No, you're not. You're not. Yeah. Um, yeah, Celestial's fine. I think you can. I don't actually know which one's correct. I think you can make an argument for both. I think Sunfire is always wrong. This uh, I, they nerfed it again for no reason, mm -hmm. even though it sucked, but it was unintentional. So, anyways, um. Yeah, probably yeah, I think up to now. you. They're both equally as like not that good right now. I think Stan's probably slightly stronger right now, but both of them scale really well. So, I think Celestial is fine. Yeah, just take Celestial. Yeah, yeah, especially since we're not like hard streaking. Let's check where the spot is in front. Yeah, I think uh, depending on who you ask, they would just they wouldn't be able to decide one or the other on that one. It's hard. Hmm. I think Jin is like significantly better with healing than without healing as well. So, yeah, because I really don't like B building Hodge or B. Yeah, I've exactly. ne almost never built BT on Jin, but I, I do Hodge occasionally if I have to kill off like a tier or something. Hodge is pretty good if you already have like an IE or a Last Whisper. Yeah, it's or like the, the third item. Yeah, BT is also fine, I would say, but you you really need like uh like Jin needs two items, right? He I don't know, he's that strong, I guess. He needs two items, and then his third item, like, you, you build, like, blue buff on him, and it's fine. Even mm -hmm. though blue buff gives you no damage. Like, it does give you damage, but it kind of doesn't at the same time, so. You mentioned yeah. last list front gen. Like, can't you, can you run Jace? It's like, um, that's how you would run, like, Darius on set 5 for, uh, Aphelios? No, pretty much Jace, uh, Jace frontline is, like, extremely over-nerfed. So, like, he's really, right really, no, no, glove, 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 glove. glove. Right. Uh, it's Glover Bell. I, I maybe Belt to try to streak, but if you won three one, I would tell you take the Blitzcrank. Yeah. All right. But Glove here because you have a natural to bow yet. Glove makes Last Whisper um, IE anyway. Like Sword makes Deathblade IE GS. But and so then you like you can make one more item with Sword and that's like a kind. Of, uh, nah. Don't buy it. That's or? not better. No, because you have a, you're scrapping anyway. Uh, I'd rather just hold on to scrap. Lulu 2 is pretty good though. Like oh, not over. Oh yeah. I, can, uh, I mean, even over. Pop, I guess it's only if you had Leona 2, then you'd probably do it, right? Leona or Lulu 2. Yeah, actually, yeah. Just play it over Leona. Play it over Leona. I think that's fine. Over Leona. Uh, yeah. Pretty much, it doesn't cost you too much. But the thing is, like, your front line's starting to get pretty frail for this stage. That one off, and I think we're we're chilling. But yeah, Zara's. Um, if you're not playing Zara, you should probably play it a little bit. Like in general, um, mm -hmm. she's pretty strong, especially like just as a random unit, even with like no synergies. But ninety nine percent of the time, if you're playing her, you have like either Syndicate or Scholar. But yeah, just like as a random unit, she's she does a lot because it's also hard to pay attention for um Blitzcrank over. Oh wait. So we would do this or No, it's uh Lulu over probably the Zix. Lulu scrap for now. And then we just play four bodyguard. 
I would just corner MF probably. Um, the only thing is there's some uh, some blitzcrank players. Or I, guess I would just let them MF get hooked. It's fine. Uh, I think you make thirty here. Maybe I don't know. Your your bench is really expensive, but I can't count. I mean, it's uh, these two. You got seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 14, 17, 20, 23. I make 30 if I sell the challengers. Mm -hmm. I would sell you the challengers. This anyways. You do it? Yeah, I'd sell the challengers. They're too expensive for too long. I guess we could have held on to Oh, we should have got the fewer of that. <laughs> no worries. Um, yeah, Yone sucks. No, don't don't put a player on Yone. It's just, uh, like, player so on Yone if, like... Sorry? Is just a synergy bot in your eyes? I don't even know. I wouldn't even play him as a synergy bot. You don't play... You, I would rather play like Quinn or right. Camille because you play Oriana if you're playing Fiora. But, um, like, you can play vertical challenger Yone, but you need, like, so much for him to be strong. I feel like Quinn's pretty good. Just play it over a map. Probably. So just sell off these two, or... Yeah, you can sell off those two. Oh, uh, now you can pretty much just commit now that you have, like, one Jin. Uh, Tristana's two is stronger than Jin one for the record. So if you're ever item holding Tristana, which happens pretty often, you should hold Tristana until you have Jin 2. Because I think this game would have gone pretty similar. Or at least I would have... Wow. What the fuck? Oh, well, good thing we didn't take a sword. Alright, well, that's Deathblade. Oh, well. You don't care about this? These... Alright, I guess I'm just going to hold a pair. Uh, I would hold it for, for one gold. I wouldn't hold it for, like, a lot, uh, more than one gold. Yeah, so just Deathblade. I guess Deathblade, Death 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 right? Yep. Yep. And then we got Aie and ship somebody else. No, I would I would almost never slam Aie here. And, yeah, uh, neither I'll, slam Gia or Shiva. Until I get like uh, Shiva or something, or like going DB Hurricane Aie. Especially when we got Celestial, you don't think you'd rather go for a GA something? No, so I would either GA. Oh, I wouldn't GA because I don't think there's not that many GA users in Gen in Comp, but you kind of want to greed for Last Whisper. It's pretty important in a lot of fights. Mm -hmm. And um, otherwise, you would slam Shroud. If you if you actually really want to slam an item, you would slam Shroud. Shroud is the best item in the game. Alright. Yeah, it's pretty much been that since, like, set for... Actually, just sell, sell, the, uh, sell the Fjords. I don't want to get to the... Because the thing is, even if you get Fjord 2 on your board right now, you would have to roll a little bit, probably, to make it stronger than your snipers. Yeah, I would just sit on it until level 8 and then pivot. Yeah. And then that, that's kind of like a long time anyway. So just rather get out of it. If you get it back later and you have the board for it, then we can pivot back in. But otherwise, it's just a big deal. Um, yeah, you're really rich. But you... Wow. So you, do, you don't play... Um, with, with the Scion variant, you play like Blitz Scion and then... It's Blitz Scion Braum. Um, mm -hmm. And then Jin, Ori, MF. Plus one and then it's like the plus one tends to be like janna or something yeah okay well it's almost always janna because you want scrap but um so you don't so you don't like playing he, um why, why is scion so uh, he's just broken good. he's in, just broken in yeah it, he's like a really really broken unit he right. okay think about like this scion ends up being like four bombs on your board like unironically, it's not an exaggeration. He ults four times, five times, six times per fight, and with better targeting, his obviously he takes up two units, so it's like he doesn't come without a cost. And without protector, he's kind of useless. Mm -hmm. But the good thing is, Blitz is a pretty broken unit, so fine. Um, yeah, so Scion just ends up being like just the, str eh, the strongest variant of it. But the bodyguard variant is strong too. So for example, like if you look at the lobby right now, and if you're to see fully, like everybody's playing like AD. Um, you play four bodyguard and they pretty much all lose. And anyone without Lost Whisper instantly loses. So there's no like there's no chance to beat four bodyguard without Lost Whisper. There's not too many AD players. There's four scions out as well. Like if you don't get two like um sorry, if you don't get two star scion, scion becomes extremely useless. They just buffed it so it's a lot less useless. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it tended to be the case that if you didn't get scion two, you just couldn't play scion variant. And then you could you just have to find like a different front line. And ideally or the other best front line other than Sion is Braum. So also this Kench is unkillable. Protector Kench. Yeah. You'd roll next turn or uh, greet it until after Raptors? No, no, you, you roll next turn, you roll next turn. 
because or else you're going to take 15 times in a row which is not ideal also you don't you have like a really clear way of getting stronger right mm -hmm. so bow for last was for every time or yeah i would probably just take bow just take... or you could just like take the eye and just take like a belt or something that works as well i would take both all right i'll go both then the only thing i i guess you're not worried at all about no tank items because we're gonna have like Sword oh, because tank. Okay, board. the thing with tank items, the thing with tank items is that uh, they've become a lot less important because of. I'll, I'll, I'll say it in a second. Let you roll first. Sion. Mm. Oh. Stop here. Okay. I would stop yeah, here. let's just stop here. Put that in. Get her in, and then uh, sell the Tristana now for MF. And sell the Poppy for Econ. And yeah, just slam all the items. You just shiv uh, Lulu Lasso for now. Or yep, Lulu Sphere. Okay. And shiv Lulu for now. Just for now. Just whatever. Um, okay. And you are, yeah, pretty much chilling. I would have liked to get like one front line upgrade, but if you lose these two rounds, it won't be by like large margins. I think for the most part, you'll actually win most of these. Just four bodyguards enough front line at this point yeah, in the game. Yeah, you'll do a Janna, which I feel is very impactful in Jin. Because of the sniper, yeah. uh, extra sniper damage. You also get scrap and enchanter, which is more effective HP. So you just it's more essentially more front line. Yeah, you should probably use the yeah, okay. scrap. Um, the reason why front line is like front line items have become less important is because a lot of the units in the game by bypass front line. Kaisa, like Kench to an extent bypasses it, right? Like, wow, holy fuck, this is trash. <laughs> I guess this is the only one we can get remote use out of. This is like... Atomy is probably better than Scrap. You can't ever get four Scrap in Jin Comp, it's really hard. But we might cut... I guess we... I guess if we're playing Scion, nope. we're never cutting him. And if we're playing Bodyguards, we're also never, never cutting him, right? And we can never cut Janna as well. So well, he sold just... the Scion. He sold the Scion too. Yeah. Well, Pretty guess... much regardless, we yeah. never cut Blitzcrank, so I think it's just Academy. But it's not good. <laughs> it's not good. Yeah. I would hold the Jin as well. Um, Academy of Lulu for now, and I guess we're not holding on to her for a long time. Yeah, sure. She's, I mean, she's dead next turn. Yeah, right, perfect. Oh, because she's a Ori right now on your board. Mm -hmm. She's Ori, and then the two bodyguards are Scion, but you would also just play the two bodyguards if and you also upgrade Leona immediately until you have Scion. And then if you have Scion, you play Scion. Because you don't run bodyguards at all? Oh, no, you run two. You run Braum and, uh, Braum and Blitz. You fought this guy right as he hit next three. Hmm. I mean, this game's a top four. It's just you should actually be able to get a first here. Let's just see what items you get. Uh, with a couple of upgrades, you just go nine immediately. So. Yeah, I think that like. Um... Probably need at least uh, just do this immediately, or yeah, yeah, you could just sell that. This or our... since we're not never no, no, running no, Jace, then you just better. don't care about her. Yeah, I'm much better. Um, so this is like Galio too. If you play it, if you get it, is really really broken. But so we play Gal Galio. I mean, would you ever play Galio one if the socialite hex was like in a good spot for Jin, like in the back line somewhere? No, probably not. Galio one is really really bad. All right. He's not worth two units. Oh, perfect! Wow. Okay, you gotta drop this. Put this slot. Take it. Or Just make that. Yeah, make it. Another Galio. Sell the Yumi. Yeah, sell the Yumi. It's Sell the gens. Sell the extra gens. There's an MF in that store. So okay, Galios, uh, or... I would just sit for a turn or two. Uh, okay, put Sh items on Ori. Yeah. Shiv Ori. Oh, and then... Shiv Academy GA, and then Redemption on Leona. Um, and then we're just positioning Leona. You never go. Um, I was thinking Sojin, Sojin Ori, but. 
Is no, because the remaining item sucks, right? You get Trap Claw. It's like, okay, I guess. Oh, Trap Claw's not bad, but yeah, I think you, you really want Redemption. Sunfire. Oh, no, that's even worse. Okay. Yeah, Sunfire is really bad. Just like in, like, uh... I guess you don't value the uh thank you mercy since you, if you don't value tank items but keep rolling here i guess yeah keep rolling take that great you'd still hold on to these until we hit like i guess the sign yeah because like if you don't have scion too then it's hard to roll for i mean you're starting to get like to the point where it's actually dangerous and you might Pretty much if you lose this round, which I don't think you do, you're pretty strong. I would swap sides, probably. Just because yeah, think about the socialites on that side. Yeah, socialite being on the other side means that... Um, also, you should probably just block your gen off with... There's so many assassin players, we should put a bodyguard at the back. In fact, we... Ooh, my bad. We should have probably done that ages ago. Because we were losing mid-game fights sometimes. As well. Fine, this is a celestial blessing value. Yeah, it's insane. Uh, your Ori still alive? If it doesn't whiff? Mm -hmm. oh, oh, that, might, that does no damage. I thought I'd do more at this point just because you had Academy. Yeah, Ori too might have been able to do something. Hmm. Okay, I mean, this turn we probably have to solid roll, but. The fun begins. Nice. Mm. Okay, this game's just sell this. Um, just keep rolling. Oh, you don't have MF2 yet. I wouldn't have sold that. I would just put, like, um, Darius at the back. Block assassins. I guess we're not facing any assassins this turn, so we're fine. And then uh, you really want to keep track of like angling your Braum in a certain direction, right? Yeah, I, was, um, I like here he's going this way. So that's actually good. Yeah, it's perfect. But keep in mind with Blitzcrank next to Braum, um, sometimes he will. Yeah, yeah, grief the direction. Every, yeah. So, and especially with the way you're positioning your front line. So what happens is Blitzcrank always hooks in front of him if he mm -hmm. can, but um, he'll hook behind if he can't. And right now he can't hook uh, in front. Wait, there's no way this is above four. Okay, this is actually above four. Oh, it's a fifth. Really? We lost every round. Okay. Okay, wait, hold up. Go back. Uh, let me see the boards. Like, I feel like the sim boards you actually are never supposed to lose to. I, like, until they have three stars. I guess it was just As putting long... a bodyguard in the background. Uh, to... Yeah, because they, they taunt. Um... But that's a call. So I this... feel like a collie is just... Really hard to you gotta CC it, otherwise she just hard lose every time I feel. She just dashes through your gen. You'd be surprised. Uh Jin has a decent shot against Akali because like with enough fire RNG you actually have one shot it. Except and that sounds like kind of not that reliable, but it just ends up being pretty reliable. This spot this guy wins the lobby, so like you kind of blow fighting him. I'm pretty sure he wins the lobby. Yeah, there's no way. I mean like either wins the lobby or he's dead in the next two rounds. If he survives the next two rounds, he wins the lobby for sure. But I'm pretty sure he just wins the lobby. Um, I guess like if yeah, you, we just if you hit Scion too. Do you think like that would that was the diff this game like not hitting uh, Scion too? No, no, I actually don't think it was. Um, your board was like weaker than Scion too, but not by like a huge margin. So this guy having to face the Akali this turn means he might actually not win the lobby because that's Akali too with Johnson. But otherwise, I'm pretty sure he like how right click is can't. Oh, never mind. Actually, I think you can still right click it. I'm not even kidding. There we go. <laughs> But, um, you can get out of here. I think you played your early game and mid game really well, by the way. I think more or less, the, like, I think for the most part, it was just scouting. And this is why, like, live coaching is a little bit iffy, right? Because, like, you're not, you didn't scout a single time, which I don't blame you, by, by the way. Like, you, I get coached, I, I coach a lot of people. You literally cannot get a single scout turn in. Thank you so much for watching. If you learned something, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Comment down below what video you want me to make next, and if you want to get better at TFT, join the Discord. We got nearly 6,000 other players there who are hungry to climb. And if you want to get coached by me, the information is over on the Discord server as well. So take care, and see you in the next video.